Hi friends, in my last video, I have explained why Leonardo da Vinci is still considered the universal genius. After which, I had explained four principles out of seven, because of which da Vinci became genius. Similarly, if we follow those principles, even we can become genius. So, if you have not watched first part of this video, then you can watch by clicking i button. In this video, I will explain the remaining three principles, which will increase your intelligence. So, let's begin. Fifth, Arte Sinje. Meaning, art and science, Da Vinci used to give equal importance to both, science as well as art. But today, normal people thinking has changed. Nowadays, people give more importance to science. For them, science is everything and according to them, art as a waste and useless thing. Example, most of the parents want their children to study in the science field. They don't want to let their children in art field. If you want to become a genius, then give equal importance and value to both the fields, art as well as science. Because if you want to get best result in any field, you need both. Example, explaining anything in an interesting way is an art. No matter how good things you create, but without using art, nobody would like it. Because whether we accept it or not, but we humans like beautiful interesting things. And art is the biggest reason of converting boring things into beautiful and interesting. 6. Corporalita Meaning body and mind. If I ask you to imagine a person who is genius. So, in your brain, a not kind of person image will appear, who wears spectacles, who is thin and looks little weird, something like this. Whereas words, some very intelligent and genius people, including Leonardo da Vinci, were attractive and strong. In fact, da Vinci was so strong and handsome. He used to walk a lot. He was a good swimmer and also used to exercise. And he used to care a lot about physical fitness. Because he knew that the more we will be fit and strong physically, the more we can increase our mental ability. Da Vinci was well informed about that our brain and body is connected to each other. And for proper blood supply and to make our brain work at its best, physically strong is required. Hence, if you want to use your brain best, then give extra care to your health. And to care about health, it does not mean to do only exercise, but you will have to make proper diet plan also. Seventh, Conesione, meaning everything is connected to everything. Genius people have one more special thing. They see connection in different fields and things and also use it by understanding it. Da Vinci has a belief that yes, everything is connected to each other. Example, from this principle, we can learn two things. First, try to find out connection between different things and in different concepts. Second, do remember that you are very, very, very important. You can impact a lot to the world. If you want to understand clearly, then read the butterfly effect. In this effect, it is said that everything is connected to each other. I want to make you understand by one example. During war between Germany and Britain, in 28 September 1918, Henry Tende was a soldier from Britain. Henry shot one German soldier, but he did not die. If Henry Tende had wanted to shoot, then 
he could have shot german soldier but henry could not shoot and let him go friend that german soldier was adolf hitler later that german soldier became dictator if henry tende has shot him at the time then second world war would not have happened and many innocent people would not have died just because of hitler so friends this is the connectivity i want to tell one thing here friends whatever you are nowadays please be sure about that because it can change your future either you can be a successful person or a frustrated person so it depends upon you how you connect yourself with future friends if you like this video so please subscribe and share and finally thanks for watching